Hello, what's up, guys? My name is Kisan Farley, and today in this video, I'll be showing you guys how you can import any element or kit from Invato Elements to your own WordPress dashboard. So, if you are interested to knowing how you will set up this element or kit into your element or dashboard, please stay tuned and let's get started. So the first thing that you need to do is to go to your dashboard and once you will go to your dashboard make sure you will have Elementor and Elementor Pro plugins installed. Also you will need to add one more plugin that will be a plugin from Invato Elements. So I'll search for Invato and you can see the first plugin that is Invato Elements Photos and Elementor Templates simply install this plugin and click on activate meanwhile you can find out the elementor kit that you want to install and then click on that download button and you can select a folder and click on this add and download i already have downloaded one elementor kit so i'm going to install that kit into my wordpress dashboard so I'll click on this installed kits and you can see currently I do not have any of the kit installed. I'll click on this plus button and from here I'll choose this kit that I have downloaded. I'll click on open and the kit will start importing into my WordPress dashboard. And now you can see our kit is imported. Here are all the pages that come with the kit. But first of all, you will notice this notification that will say that you are required to install following plugins. So click on that install requirements and click on installed above selected requirements. And once that is done, click on close. Now every Elementor kit on in auto elements require you to have a theme from Elementor that is hello Elementor theme So make sure you have hello Elementor theme installed in my case. I do not have Hello Elementor theme installed for now. I'll click on this add new button and I'll install the theme Which is this one hello Elementor After installation, I'll click on this activate button. And after that, I'll remove all of these unnecessary theme that came with default WordPress installation. Once that is done, I'll ensure that all the plugins that were required for kit is already activated and they are all activated and now the next thing that i will do is first of all to import this global kit styles so i'll click on this import button and it will automatically start importing and now that is imported if i click on this view site button you can notice that the font styles a change which is the indication that the default kit style is already imported into our WordPress dashboard so next thing that I have to do is to find the header template here we have the header I click on this import template after the header I need to import the footer and I will import all the required pages that I want. I need the home page, about page, FAQs page, detail page, and service page. Mm, I require this news page for the blog, and I don't need this pharmacist page. I don't need met forms page as well. I don't need membership form. I need this contact us form with contact us. I will also require this 404 page. 
so now our header is already imported so i have uh, imported all the required templates that i need next thing i'll what i need to do is to go to this template and i will click on this after that i'll click on add new and then i will select a header and i'll name it as header new and i'll create template from here i'll go to my templates and then i need to find out the header template and i'll click on this insert and with that you can see that our header template is imported i do not have any menus created so that is why we don't have any items for menus in here but i'll be able to edit them later after this i'll click on this publish and i'll add the condition to entire site and i'll click on save and close after that i'll go to dashboard again and now what i need to do is to create a template for footer so i'll click on this footer and i'll click on add new and once again i'll go to my templates and from here i'll find the footer template and i'll insert it and now you can see our footer is imported successfully and then i'll click on this publish and add condition to entire site and i'll click on save and close and now i'll revert back to dashboard again so now we have our header created and our footer created now what i need to do is to create pages so i'll go to pages i'll remove the default pages come with wordpress installation and i'll remove the trash i'll click on add new button and then i'll name it as home and i want the view to be of like this and not the full screen and from here i can choose the default template to element or full width and i'll click on this publish button I'll click on this edit with Elementor and then from here I'll click on this add template my templates and I need to find the template for home page from a list and I think the template for home page is not imported so far so I'll click on this and from installed kits I'll find this home template. It will start importing again. So depending upon the internet speed that you will have, the import time may vary. So now you can see that our home page uh, from the kit is already imported into our wordpress dashboard you can later remove these images they are very easy to remove and change because they are created using elementor so in the same way you can create more pages on your wordpress installation i hope you like this video if you like this video please consider subscribing to my youtube channel and click on bell icon so that you will always get notified whenever i upload any new video on the youtube channel i hope to see you in the next video